let's start today's stream. And let's see what I plan to do today. Okay, here is my plan. <laughs> Yesterday it was rather funny that uh, yeah, I tried to connect motion sensor, but it turned out that it was uh, quite poorly soldered. I just saw that after the stream, so the capacitor connectors uh, were soldered together. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that it uh, only melted some of my connectors of my jumpers, but yeah, not the whole uh, Raspberry Pi. So, yeah. I'm glad that other stuff working too. Right now I have no uh, motion sensor, but, if, but I think I can replace it with a simple button. At the point I, I will need it. Okay, so plan to focus on the on the streaming part of it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's start doing doing it. Okay. I believe we have something like early exec thing. So possibly we can we can do something about it. I will be using it. I think it's okay. It's okay to use it. And, 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 and how to install it. Okay, something like this. Where is my editor? Okay, it's here. And my dependencies. Dependencies, okay. I will put it here. Let's format our file. It's formatted, and I believe some dependencies are installed. Okay, this should be very fast. And ix mix mix without anything. We just start the application. Okay, it started. Interesting how to work with it. Where is the documentation? Okay, it's here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh, okay, possibly I should add it to the applications too. Extra application logger, and And we'll restart my application. Relaxic. Okay, it's just exec. 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 Um, link. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, run link. It will be a command, command options, and integer. Okay, what else do we have? Exec. Exec. Okay. Okay. We can start something like this. Okay. Clearing environment. Uh, 
Ukrainian killing in various process. Hmm. Let's try using it. On link. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Something. Let's do do something like this. Music and then 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 how where is the most basic part? Okay, okay, okay. Run. Okay, it will be sync T out. Okay, so actually we were able to run some program and that is nice. Running run run run. Possibly I will not even need this thing. Okay, so actually we can run any commands. So, what I will do today? Uh, I will create some module. We'll start with it. So what I want to do? I want to take a video or some other stuff from the camera or from... Yeah. In the end, I will try to get some video from the camera. Okay. And in the end, to stream it to some series. Okay. Deep. I will create a stream.x file. I think I will not cover with so much tests uh, F module e T V Green. Okay. What I will do here mm, I think I will make it like a uh, I will make this a generic server. Server. Okay. And it will complain a little bit. Okay, it needs some init. F start link. Okay, do and Possibly I should add some uh, some editor config here. So yeah, let's copy it from PC, XS home, editor config here. Okay. I've added it. It's staged the file. We will also modify modify the uh, git ignore. Oops. Let's see. Ah, okay. Build. Build. Okay. Let's stage this too. And server start link. Start link. Uh, module. Okay, init argument will be 
Mm. What it will be. <laughs> it will be opts. Okay. And name will be module. Okay. Definite. Init. It will return just okay. And and something like this. <laughs> something happened. Uh, Impel. Impel. Uh, uh, then server. I implemented this thing. Okay. Need arc isn't used. Okay. Next to this too. And let's add it to our application. Oh. Where is my where is my application? Possibly it's here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think I will need to regenerate the project. Uh, X uh, new. Do we have something like this? Okay, we have next new thing. It needs a supervisor. It needs new PCT. Okay. Let's merge those things. Mm -hmm. So what I will do is to okay. CD, CCTV, okay. CD, projects, CCTV. Okay. So, something like this. Uh, I'm not sure that it will need it. Formatter. Okay. You like this formatter? It ignore? Okay. <laughs> it's larger than mine. What I will do is to stage my changes uh, for mix access and mix lock. So we will copy it. Yeah. Moving back and starting to merge everything. Okay. okay. So what I will do here is what? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. It, it's more like a truth. Okay, so what I will do is to add click back here. Okay, so I don't need this. And okay, we'll we'll revert this. So yeah, almost nothing changed. Lib, nothing changed. We'll move it to CTV. Okay, stream dot x. Okay, moved this, and we'll load. A chill child. Okay. Okay. TV. And then, and then, and stream. Okay. Is, 
is not working on so. Okay, let's restart it. Okay. Okay. Prove it. Works, I believe. And we see TV stream. Okay. I believe there are too many of the processes. We have started the our server. What I will do with it? We'll generate some client uh, things. F start. Start streaming, and okay. I believe we don't need this. Okay, we will start streaming, and then server. Okay, uh, cool. Module with uh. With this, okay, we'll do this thing and stop streaming. If mm. and call, okay, it will be a start stream. Okay, from I don't need it. Okay, and we'll return. Now we apply. Okay, state. The implementation signed here and here to and which should be happy. Recompile uh CCTV uh stream starts stream streaming. Okay. So yeah. we have some API. We have some API. Oh yeah. So what I will do with it? What I will do with it? Mm. Do I have a fucking pick? Yeah. I have some. I have some FFmpeg here, and what I need to do is to. Okay. What I will do is create the stream input command. Okay. Let's see. Well, it's the LXEC. Mm. 
pipe how to work this pipe let's see Okay, so it just works. And what will be if I supply a list? Will it work? No. No. It will not work. Okay. Running. So it will return a link products ID. Hi, Super Modes official. Thank you. Thank you for reading. I hope <laughs> this will be helpful. So what I'm going to do is to create a streaming thing for my Raspberry Pi. I just need to do something like this and to my uh, my how, how to call it i don't know uh, inside my home i believe so near my home something like in the garden i want to create some um uh, no my home list 207 um from ukraine And you? Okay. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How are you today? Okay. So this works. Thank you. I'm fine today too. So yeah, just started my stream, trying to do something with all those Raspberry Pi Okay, it's, it's connected. Have only one camera set up. Just uh, thinking about. Uh, okay. okay, it's it's Erlang. So I have some. I have some plan prepared for the stream and trying to follow it so uh, the idea is to do here today or possibly uh, in future is to uh, create something like smart home think smart home solution and yeah i have prepared already some architecture for more robust solution but now i need a, a cctv cam camera so yeah working on it just switch to it 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 will be actually like a part of smart home solution yeah i have burned oh no, no so, something like this i have burned uh, some uh, sensors yesterday so yeah it was fun I, it was from China, and its quality was not so good. Poor soldering. So yeah, it was interesting. Just I have some melted connectors. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have. I'm using Raspberry Pi now. It's connected. I can show you a little bit. Uh, it's my thing. Something like this. Okay. Just using Raspberry Pi right now, and I have uh, some sensors already prepared. So yeah, uh, plan to focus only on the Raspberry Pi. No, possibly we'll add some Arduinos and so on. So yeah. I believe it, it will be helpful. 
for someone at least for me i have already some stuff uh, that works it's at our office i have created some music player okay it's it's clo closed sourced yeah it works like this yeah it's previous version it's quite fine to work and i have uh, done some uh, conclusions regarding the architecture so yeah right now creating something that will be without those things that will be more scalable it uh, it has some support for uh, the music plane recently it was uh, using uh, Mopedi as a as a music source and switch to MPV player. Okay. Besides, I like the. How did you? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was studying to work uh, with some some hardware, so I believe it's it's quite fine. So it was some hard code assembler things and <laughs> so after it it was C and PHP and Java and uh, Clojure and other stuff so uh, right now I'm just uh, using it like a hobby so trying to create something meaningful and also to share it as an open source work okay so basically i have some experience with all those stm32 uh, microcontroller controllers arduinos microchip aware and <laughs> but it's like a hobby and mostly full stack developer so yeah. let me show you what i have it's it's in another project CD. CD, uh, EXS home, okay. So yeah, what's, what's here, it's, it's the project that I have started to work. Okay, it's, it's not much here. Right now it's a system, it's, uh, it works something like Excel. So I have created some dependencies this page depends on the clock. So yeah, if time changes, it renders a new version of the page. Okay, I want to do similar things with hardware. So I will connect some sensors to Raspberry Pi to PC via Arduino or something like this. I have some ideas about that and already researched how to do it. So yeah, when something changes, possibly some sensor is activated like motion sensor or button is pushed or I don't know there are too many sensors okay then something will be happening uh, no 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 it's it's just from my PC right now it is uh, deployed to my computer so it's taking time from uh, clock source okay. so, yeah. it has some things it's it doesn't use uh, hardware it right now because i'm focusing mostly on the uh, architecture part just to make everything work for example uh, yeah, when i change the time zone it is broadcasted to the every process okay i'm using uh, erlang and elixir here I believe it's very nice solution for such kind of tasks. Okay, so uh, okay, let me show you something. It's a built thing. So I believe we can use RTC, but but uh, I don't use any hardware right now at uh, XS Home thing. Just focused on. Closed uh, on uh, monitoring uh, camera solution for smart home because 
I want to uh, to uh, use it near my home just for me and neighbors just to so everyone will be happy because they will see that uh, YouTube or something like this what's happening and when so basically when uh, someone enters nearby to the home uh, the camera will be streaming to YouTube something and ping the telegram that something that has happened someone just opened the door or something like this so, yeah. it, it will be more it will introduce more clarity to the to what's going on just it, it's very comfortable so I will be able to uh, to just move to YouTube channel to my YouTube channel and see who went uh, to our uh, apartment or something like this okay so basically what I wanted to show actually uh, Erlang is I think it's very nice uh, language a nice uh, solution for writing such kind of things because it has some uh, it has much uh, or many processes so each process is just uh, runs concurrently or if uh, my pc has four cores each core can execute uh, uh, parallel jobs and yeah there are some connection between the processes so actually what's going on inside my application okay what's going on the uh, i can say that uh, i am not using javascript for rendering this thing so it's it uses like server side react or something like this and it's quite scalable okay so when i render this page uh, a new process is launched it's very lightweight and it subscribes to the clock dependency to the <laughs> right now only to the clock dependency and when this dependency changes the process receives a message that yeah, clock is changed and i need to render only a small part of the page can show you how it is it works okay okay i believe this one response okay as you can see it's it's uh, like degrees of what to change so it's just uh, an angle of the clock hand so how much to change it it's and it's pretty small diff so it's sent over the web socket so yeah i like this very much and i think it's it will be a great fit so it's it will be like an excel so one cells are uh, dependent on the other cells and when when one cell changes everyone will be updated in real time so actually we can uh, we can connect many users to the same pc okay it's uses pc but uh, it's quite fine to deploy this to the Raspberry Pi or to some other embedded uh, process to uh, some other uh, hardware and it will work it has some support for uh, working with GPIO okay let me show you how to do it I have a connected Raspberry Pi and yeah, it's it works now. CD projects uh, CCTV. Okay. So Erlang and Elixir is are distributed languages, so we can create a cluster from Raspberry Pi or something like that and use it as we need. Okay. Okay, 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 I connected to it, and mm, okay, it's GPIO, 
GPIO and then and, and, and open. I have con I have three connected wires. Open. Uh, it is on the port seven. Let me check. Okay, GPIO is uh, circuits, GPIO open, it will be 17 port and and then and, and it will be input. Okay, we have opened a port, open. I have configured a GPIO, it uses CSFS Linux subsystem to open those ports. Okay, and I can use it to get the value. And so, kids, GPIO, uh, read GPIO, it's currently zero. And Something happens <laughs> not very really nice with uh, backward search. It's actually I can connect. I can connect some sensor. In our case, it's it's something from this uh, something from this set sensor kit, and uh, I have tried to work with it closely yesterday but it was not so successful because uh, because of motion sensor uh, was quite of poor quality <coughs> i will need to buy another one sometime later i connected everything i connected uh, key i have, have connected ground i have connected VCC and I have connected a signal wire. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just pushed the button and it, it's now a value of zero. Okay, we can attach some interrupts. Uh, let me check. GP IO. Just just, 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 how to work with it, open, read, set direction, set interrupts, okay. No, 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 just continue, GP, master, circuits, GP, IO, and set interrupts, or GP, IO, GPIO will be loose. Okay. Okay. I have no messages, and if I click a button a couple of times, if I push it a couple of times, I will get an information that the button was pushed. I can just work with it in another way. Just I have uh, these messages in the mailbox, in the mailbox of the current prods. So actually, what I get here is that I have uh, something related to the GPIO subsystem, and the connection uses 17 port. This is a timestamp, possibly from the start of the process. I'm I'm not sure what is it. Possibly I should read about it more i was not so interested about it i believe it's it's a time when the action was done okay and it is the value of our sensor okay it, it easily can be a motion sensor okay i can show it to you it's it's here it's here motion sensor and 
and it has some problems. <laughs> I need to replace it, but it's it's just the same uh, thing like a simple push button. So yeah, it also generates. Uh, I believe. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So when the motion will be detected, I will receive a uh, uh, one value of uh, the digital value of one. Okay. And if the movement ends or or after some delay or something like this, it will be zero. So yeah, just very closely, very similar to the to the simple button. And when the motion will be detected, I will ping another process that I will tell another process that hey, something happens. I need to record this, and I will stream the video from the camera. Okay, Raspberry Pi has some cameras. I have it. So in my home but need <laughs> to bring it to work and uh, connect it so we'll start to uh, to create some stops to create some stops for uh, this possibly will stream just uh, some image some static image and when the camera will be ready we'll get the data from it and stream to to somewhere okay, it can be youtube or some other some other system and yeah yeah so it it's almost uh, everything what i plan to do is this thing it's quite small thing okay closing this and so what is the plan i will add something to start a stream something to uh, i want not to only to stream but also to save the stream to my uh, sd card okay so i can see it if something happens if there is no internet or i'm not sure why <laughs> but yeah i will also save it to the to the sd card so raspberry has some sd card and the thing is to remove outdated files because uh, I think it uh, video files are very very large and they can eat up all the space at the SD card. So possibly it is a nice idea to delete old ones. And okay, this one to start streaming only when motion starts and this one is to delay after the motion ends i don't want to just stop streaming when the motion ends i want to wait for example one minute or something like this to just record some extra data because possibly someone just stopped to move and waiting until something so i want to continue uh, streaming for some extra time okay this one is to implement placeholder instead of actual camera because yeah <laughs> i have no extra camera or uh, uh, yeah actually i have but i'm not sure i will connect it to the raspberry pi because it has only one usb input this model okay uh, typical raspberry pis has have more uh, USB inputs, but this one only one, and I'm using it to uh, connect via. So it emulates an Ethernet right now. So when I showed you the connection, um, right now I'm at the Raspberry Pi. Okay. They look very similar, but actually we are at the raspberry pi right now okay so and i'm connected to the raspberry pi via uh, via usb cable it emulates an uh, ethernet port okay okay so as you see 
on using this this thing. I have added a static static address for it. Just just to <laughs> to make it work. Okay, and actually I connect it to some some Wi-Fi. So I'm using this to fetch some data to browse internet and to stream something in future to stream a video and I'm using this uh, this interface to connect to connect to Raspberry Pi. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So I have no free uh, no free USB interfaces right now at this model. So yeah. That's pretty much of what I'm doing right now. And yeah. so when this thing will be ready, I will return back to the smart home solution, not CCTV solution, but the whole smart home and possibly <laughs> it will include those CCTV solution too, but in very, very far away future because there are so many things to do there. So yeah. I will be glad to answer any questions if you have some. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like programming? So regarding uh, regarding microcontrollers and other stuff, uh, other hardware. So uh, okay. And do you like JavaScript? Uh, I find sometimes it it confusing. <laughs> because there are undefined is not a function things. Okay. Just uh, we can program a hardware via JavaScript too. I believe there are a lot of libraries to do it. Just yeah. Yeah. This language is is very. It uh, I I work with JavaScript for quite a long time. It's my primary work. Uh, one of languages I am using at work primary. So I understand that it's very nice to learn. But I think uh, the more languages I learn. And they look very similar. I see right now that uh, JavaScript takes inspiration from other languages, and yeah, it's very nice. Okay, and regarding browser languages, I think uh, we have some extra extra things that can run in the browser too. They will be compiled to JavaScript, okay? <laughs> but yeah, we can run any C program. I believe we even have something like uh, something like this. And then, and then, and then, how, how is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I have seen somewhere that uh, was a project that, uh, that compiled Linux subsystem to via WebAssembly and run Linux inside a browser. <laughs> it was, it was interesting. Now there, and uh, how to? Not sure about this one. Okay, no, possibly not this one. Just seen this uh, thing. <laughs> It was very interesting. So you can. I have also watched that uh, there is a dumb Doom 3 running inside the browser. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, it it's download some data. <laughs> yeah. It's quite interesting that we can run such kind of a game inside a browser. And yeah, it it requires only one core, if I'm not mistaken, to it requires single core to run this project and uh, multi protein is not very supported at least out of the box inside the browser oh yeah, oh, yeah. regarding uh, the browser and other languages there are some solutions that can work even with a, with a very small amount of javascript okay. Okay. for example this one so actually it's a uh, server rendered so how it works uh, we render a page or at the backend it's the first request to the backend I believe it's it's here so we just render some page it is sent to the browser then browser gets all those CSS styles and other stuff and yeah as we can see here one two and some icons some meaningful things and this one is for the hot reloading of the page when i change something in the backend the page will be refreshed too the next uh, browser connects to the backend again it opens a websocket connection here and i believe this one because this one is for live reloading and backend then uh, render the page again and compute the difference just sense everything that happened okay, it, it's <laughs> it was too much and they were dropped let me show you again so yeah we have connected to it and sent and received some data about the page okay we received the uh, data about the page and then uh, replaced the values so yeah, when something changes at the backend so uh, we have one dedicated process for the thing so yeah, it actually connects to the server and it works it just works we can actually look about this process um, first, first Okay, and dashboard. We can see this process. And, 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 and possibly. Okay, this one is for the clock. We can see what is the command for it. Channel, channel, channel. Routes in folk log service. Mm. So yeah, actually we have some process. We can start this similar thing. Okay, so yeah. And this process just sends the diff the differences inside the rendered thing over the wire. And I like it. Yeah. Possibly it it gets stuck. <laughs> okay. So yeah, actually, we can run some some Doom inside the inside the browser. I remember how I played it some years ago. It was too long ago. But yeah, and I'm just switched to playing these programs to writing some programs instead of gaming okay okay so uh, actually elixir and uh, erlang is it's not so uh, they are one of the most one of the oldest at least erlang is one of the oldest languages out here it was started in in too many years ago okay it's from 1986 and I can say that it's like a 
separate operating system. It has some processes, it has... I don't know what it doesn't have. It actually has too much things inside it. It has some database, it has some... Um, it has about uh, one embedded database, it has some uh, pops up things and 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 some extra things oh, yeah. so i j i'm just working like a hobby on it and like it we have some uh, solutions for it uh, in our office and they are mostly like mm, email things and some other stuff okay. the previous player i have showed you is uh is written in elixir too and it's quite scalable thing too it's like a beast you can give it uh, many resources and it can consume them all and just uh, the process do not block each other for example if one process is get stuck it will be stuck only it only this process will be stuck and other processes will just continue normally so you can see uh, sometimes inside the uh, cpu usage that uh, it picks for example uh, using almost 100% of CPU and the system remains responsive not so fast but yeah responsive it's but it is not so fast like uh, compiled languages like C or something like this but it's very scalable and the language the architecture itself forces to write such pro programs that that can scale so yeah there are no variables okay we have constants in erlang they are more strict than in elixir so elixir is just uh, a language that uh, built on top the erlang and on top the otp subsystem and it work, works quite nice with it it has some ways to it has very many things how to interface with uh, other languages how to call extra pro programs and so on so basically it's like a high level language so you can build some things that supervise other, other things so it can control a cluster of uh, things very easily Actually, it was uh, Erlang was designed to work uh, in a telecommunication. So, uh, it's quite reliable thing. It's <laughs> you cannot kill it very easily. If you try to, yeah, you can kill it, but it it requires some some uh, things, some extra efforts. For example, uh, it has something like supervision tree. Let me show you what it is. It's, for example, here. We say that... Uh, I think it, it will be easier to show. Uh, it has something like this. It's an observer of the system. So as we can see, we have the version this and some other stuff about my PC. So right now it uses about 41 megabytes of RAM and other stuff. So yeah, let's move to the process. Oh no, no, oh, no, no. To the applications. We have our application. Where is it? It's okay, this one. Ah, it's very small. I believe it's better to, to use this one. It will be more, more easy to understand what I mean. Okay, 
regarding this application. We have a supervision tree. These things, every, every part is a process. So yeah, as we can see, we have many, many processes. And they are connected or started by this process. And this process is started by this one. So when I want to kill this, killing it, okay. okay, I want to kill it and it's just restarted. Let's try to kill this one, okay. sending a kill signal, and it's restarted. It has another root CD, no, not this, this one. It has a larger process ID, but it's it works. So yeah, if something bad happens, some processes are just restarted. So we create something like supervision tree, and it just works. So the system is the systems mostly designed with this in mind. So we can start something, we can restart something. And it will continue to work. So each process does not work, does not uh, interfere too much with other processes. They have no. Mm, yeah, at the high level, they have no shared memory. But at the low, lower end details, uh, they do share some memory. But you cannot modify it very easily from the language itself. You can do something bad at the C level, but yeah, I believe it's nice. So I decided, I just like this language and decided to use it for an embedded system to work with hardware. And, and then something like this. Oh, yeah. It's a list of the processes that are running. It actually can handle uh, very much amount of process. So this, okay. So single, uh, single. Uh, but very large server was able to handle 2 million WebSocket connections and it was a story, some stories regarding WhatsApp, they are running Erlang and single but very very large uh, server was able to handle another millions of connected users. So, yeah. The whole WhatsApp uh, until 1 million of or more connected users were handled by a single server that was running Erlang. So I believe it's pretty scalable. And it's not so performant in some cases, like uh, when I need to work with data, but it has some, uh, some extra things, like... Uh, like and then and, and, and how is called uh, mix okay mix uh, it's numerical elixir it is like uh, like numpy for python so it uh, can so it's for data science and some other stuff i have not worked with it very much but i believe it's very nice and it has some extra things like uh, this thing is just uh, like uh, I think it will be better to just show you what is it. You install it. Okay. It will be compiled and. Mm, I'm slightly older, but yeah. 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 
that's nice that I look this uh, this years. So yeah, regarding my development career, so basically I have started to program very much from uh, 211. So yeah, and <laughs> worked with different languages from that time. So yeah, we have installed this thing and I and book. Uh, okay. uh, actually more, but it's yeah, it was programming for real. I can say there were some con uh, programming contests and so on. But actually, we've started programming from two hundred seven. But I don't think it's it's very uh, it's very relevant because real programming experience started from from yeah from two hundred uh, two thousand eleven. Book server. So yeah, regarding this one, I have started a live book thing. Can connect to it, and and can see. You can see what's going on here. Or possibly. Mm. Okay. Let's see. So actually, we can run some some things just from the browser. We can evaluate something. Okay. We can create a documentation, live documentation. We can write some elixir. We can do something. Let's let's add some uh, some extra. No, not markdown. Let's add some uh, some extra elixir cell. Okay, uh, data. We can do something with it. And, um, None. No. No. And okay, it will complain and fail to work. Okay. okay, so we can just do something without the code. And I believe also it uh, it is a distributed thing. So actually, it's like um, Google Doc or something like this. Okay. Okay. Connecting to the same to the same thing and. Let's connect to the same file. Okay, system. Where is this system? Using packages. Okay. As, as you see, I'm typing at one uh, screen and I see the same output, the same thing in another system. We have something. Get inf okay. Okay. Good. System. I don't know. What do we have? Ex <laughs> System. Uh, okay. So yeah. It's just evaluated in a live mode. And we can work collaboratively on the same documents together with someone who has the link. It's not very safe to open the port to make this data publicly available, but it's okay for uh, local or internal things. Okay. Okay. It has 
quite a lot of stuff and I enjoy it working with this language okay. basically uh, it's it's <laughs> yeah, like a hobby because I have uh, slightly other duties at work and and then and then uh, I need to continue my duties so yeah plan to continue streaming the same at the same uh, time so actually I'm starting about at 15 uh, p.m. at 15 uh, every working day at the EAT time zone and or 13 uh, UTC and if I have some and uh, try to uh, stream for at least an hour if everything works nicely and if not then <laughs> uh, usually I stream more than an hour but right now I need to switch to my uh, primary duties at work so, yeah. plan to continue tomorrow thanks for a nice chat thank you you'll be glad to discuss everything about programming even javascript or other languages i have experience in uh, other languages too yeah thank you for visiting have a nice uh, evening i believe yeah bye